Let's get our Tom Pura bike in here. Ronky, let's, oh, there we go. Same. All right. Glad you could all be here. Some more people coming in. So we're focusing on our breath, like the very center of our being and just br like breathing with the sound of sa. So try to make it feel like you're making no more effort than just breathing in and out, but you have this beautiful, pure sound of sa coming. We're still in B, B Tanpura and everyone's speakers or headphones, whatever you're wearing. Get a really deep yogic breath all the way, all the way down. Really, you know, singing is so much about breathing well. So, and the more we can breathe well when we're singing, we can really go into the zone. So as we tune our voice, we're tuning our mind to that one sound. And everything comes out of that. It's like the birth of the universe. forgetting about everything just getting into this sound the tanpura is all around us like a womb and we're just the little baby in the middle listening for the harmonics in the sound you'll start to hear other notes Your range is comfortable. If you can go up, the ladies especially. Try to go up there. Try to work your way down there, guys. It's it's really nice when you can get down to the low sa. And ladies, you'll be sun. 
So get into all those octaves and hear the saw in all those places so you really feel totally grounded in there. Then when we sing Fa, we know that that is, hey Sidama, <laughs> that that is the third harmonic. So we, we, we can hear that the strongest in the drone. Because it's literally being played there, but it's also the harmonic. So, so it has a very strong harmonic and natural presence. I mean, it's all natural, but it's being played and it's being amplified with the harmonics. Bring a ton for it in too. That was the wrong key. Here we go. <clears throat> now let's get back to Kalyan, Kalyan scale. We've been singing for the Rag Yaman. Let me turn this down a little. Say. The first thing we can do is just sing the tots just to really make sure we have each of the swatas in the right places. This is not the raga because we're just going step by step. can tell me why that's not the raga just write it in the chat write it in the chat why it's not the raga There's actually a lot of reasons why this isn't the Raga. But it's a good place to start because we're just orienting ourselves with the characters. They're all the purely tuned intervals of, you could say, uh, Lydian mode in the Greek system. So basically the same scale, but purely tuned for the raga. But we don't have the raga until we introduce the phrases and the sound and the quality. So Can you hear me or is the drone too loud? You can hear me? So what's important about that phrase? Write it in the chat. Just write it in the chat if you know. Need 
ni re ga ma ga ri sa yes 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 mike and yes mina it's a paka the paka is the characteristic phrase of the raga and yeah the scale doesn't skip the sa so that paka phrase does but then it c- comes back it resolves to sa Sorry. Ni re ga ma. What is the feeling that you get from ma? Write it in the chat. What is the feeling you get? Like the, in your heart, what is the feeling? Ni re ga ma. Tension, it, yeah, but tension's not a feeling. I want a feeling. Longing, that's a feeling. Ma. Ascending a mountain, yeah. That's kind of like a, I'm gonna do this. I like that. Ma. Now listen to how it sounds in relationship to the other notes. Sing with, sing after me with the, with the uh, sarangi, okay? Ma pa ma. Yeah, everyone's singing with her. Ma pa. I'm connecting the ma with different notes that are neighboring notes up and down. So this way, we actually hear more of the quality of ma through its conversation with the other notes, through the dialogue. So it's like a, it's like a story, more, more like a story with different characters. They're talking to each other. They're, there's, a, there's an emotional connection. Sing. Mata. Come to ball. Yeah. So, in the same way we do need a gamata. We can skip the pa going up. Mada, mada, mada. Sing that. Mada, mada, mada. Pa. And we're resolving on the sa, like I mean the pa, like we do. Need a sa, mada, pa. This way, we show a kind of um, parallel movement and that creates its own emotional vortex kind of that conversation not just between the notes but between these similar kinds of phrases 
nire gare sa This is called purvanga the lower part puravanga anga means the arm the the uh the branch the lower branch nire gare sa now the upper branch is uttaranga uttar it means upper north madhani da pa so mino was talking about the paka that signature phrase nire ga re sa so we can reflect it in the upper range the uttaranga madhani da pa So let's sing both of those raga phrases so that they have a they create kind of a a matrix together nide ga re sa a connection better ma tha ni tha pa nide ga re That's that circularity around around the resting notes. Alma did that. Ba. So look at the chat if you're confused about the syllables. Nire gare sa madhani da pa. So these are complementary phrases. Okay, you guys see them in the chat? Now what can we do with these phrases to elaborate them more? Thank you. What can we, how can we elaborate these so they're not just these plain phrases? We can start seeing them plain. Make sure they're really clear in our ears. Nire ga re sa. Sa is the resolution. Sing with her. Ma tha ni da pa. Now we could go up all the way up. Nire ga re sa. We've done this. We've done that. So, so how can we elaborate in the movement between them, the connections between the notes, so it becomes more fluid and almost like kind of liquid in a way. Say. identity of the phrase is the same but the treatment is different you understand so instead of just plain notes i'm i'm doing certain little kind of curly cues between them touching other notes but in a very kind of gentle way I'm coming from ga to re ni gre ni re now it's double ni re a means good so this is mean this technique and then th there's all kinds of different ornaments and different names for them but we can we can just start by playing it's almost like you have these notes and you can caress them in different ways and connect them together and pull them apart and juice them and massage them need ga ga ni sa 
And then Sa is like a resting point. It's like everything was all curly and alive, and then it just comes to just a stillness. Blank, blank mind. It's just like it blanks the mind, and then you can go to the next thing. You have to get get yourself into the zone. You know what I'm saying? Get blown to the zone. <laughs> A musician I, I knew I used to say that, blown to the zone. Like, it sounds crazy, but you know, musicians are meant to be like hypnotists. We should be like hypnotists because people come to concerts, they want to be hypnotized, right? They want to get out of their head. They, they want to be in the magic. They're there for that. So if, if we can't hypnotize them, we're not doing our jobs. So if you practice music, you have to start with yourself and hypnotize yourself in the music so that nothing else exists. So now, I'm still using the sargams, but eventually you'll want to drop those too. So then you get into the, the style, which is more like pure sound, pure sound. So that's called akar, akar, because the sound is only ah, ah. Like la 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 ah. ah. So try singing with ah. It's it's a little bit harder to control because when we've learned all these notes and like okay, what note is that? But it's it's just like breathing in and out. And then ah ah ah. What do you say when you breathe? Ah. Just try sa on ah. Ah. I think the point with singing, and I'm not a singer, I'm just doing the best I can to communicate this, but because I love to sing for myself, is just feel like you're just, it's as natural as breathing. You know, and you, know, you just have to control it. You just have to let it in and out like you're breathing. And you can hold that note in a very still place. So now let's take the upper phrase. And now we're gonna add add those little those little I like I like to think of them of as little microorganisms. Like you go out in the forest and you pick up a rock. And you look closely. I always did this when I was a kid. I look at all the like little bugs and all the things like crawling around in there. Like, this is a whole universe in there. Each note is like that. It's got all kinds of living things around it, and that's what these means. These all these connections. Nothing is separated. They're not separate notes, actually. Ma da. See it in our sing. See when we learn music, we're under. We have this idea that okay, with all these separate notes, we have to sing them, and and to get it right, we kind of have to do that. We have to kind of identify these notes and 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 sing them and put their names and be clear about what it is. But then you go like through through that door and ah helps with that because you're no longer identifying with, with those names. Ah, ah. 
Try singing that phrase now, Madhanita Pa, with only a car. Put your a in a car. Madhanita Pa. That was the sargams. No, a. Uh. Sorry. Again. Then you let it. It's you start to open it up and re connect it in different ways to the to the notes. We're not. We're not really changing it. We're just going deeper into it. I'm going to use the sargams first, then we'll try with the akar, so you can hear it with your ear and identify it with your brain, with your mind. So it's an ear-mind connection, and then we, then we try to take out the mind part. Ma the sargams but I'm sliding between the notes like I'm not doing it literally I'm just using ba so it's a reductionist kind of way to make it more aesthetic ba and still say the name of the note because the main note is ba but it's not only ba right Sunita <laughs> I can come come off ma from pa. Ma ma da ni da pa. Ba. Now with akar, try. a variation on that now so if I was going to give you the main notes in the sargam with the slides ma da ma pa. but there's knees there too ma ni da ni ba da pa. so you see there's all this flowativity going on you know you could say ma ni da ni ma da ba. Or you could ditch all of that. If you can sing like that, that actually sounds the best to me because Akar is completely free of all these limitations. So again, you're in the pure sound realm. Right? So in Drupad music, the pure sound is very important. <clears throat> Where you've gone beyond even in the meaning of things into just pure worship and devotion, pure connection to the sound. It's like sound is God, that idea that, that the spirit of all life is in that sound and you're just really trying to enter into that. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> sorry. 
Madi Dani. Not too much. So that first little mean is very small. Then, then you get these big ones. So we're starting on that ba, but it's 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 almost just shadowed there. Come on, come on, hold on, please, hold on, please. Ma, ma, try that. Ma. Then we add the knee. Ma, 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 ma. I'm just trying to piece that little string together a little bit for you, because. We tend to think of these things as separate notes. And we kind of have to at the beginning. But once you can let go of that and start singing the life into the notes, then it just becomes about that sound. And, and you enter really fully into the raga. <clears throat> Ma or Now, one more phrase I want to give you today, which is very important in Yemen. From 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 the hot bye little lower ska bye yeah so this is a new phrase we haven't learned this. <clears throat> it's easy, but it has a big descending means, right? Bye. So try putting that together with the other phrases. Ma ni de garesa, ma da ni da pa. Then go high. Actually, let's add the other phrase in between here. Ma. Manitani Madapa. Yeah, let's. Madama Dapa. It should feel like it's just. How do you say? Madama Dapa. Yeah, the mean buddy, buddy. It's like a weight falling, but it's just right at ray. You just catch it, and it's like light as a feather. Buddy. So that has a very good. See, each phrase is like a part of the story. You're telling a story. You have to communicate something. You're not just regurgitating something. When you tell a story that your grandmother or someone told you, you don't tell it the same. You know, you have to embody it. And really, because it's a story you love. If you love it, it's going to come across. 
It's going to communicate the love that you have. So think about how each of these phrases sounds in the overall are oh, the overall story, the narrative of what's going on here. take the time to learn just these four phrases and sing them over and over and over again and, and refine them every day you can sing for someone and it'll be absolutely clear who knows that you're singing rag yaman the, the, the raga picture will be clear and that's the important thing to know you, you only need a few phrases but you need to really embody them so it doesn't sound like mechanical. So it doesn't sound like you're just regurgitating something. You have to breathe into it. You have to live into it. You know what I'm saying? matani <laughs> this called anyone who knows put it in the chat what is it called what we're doing come on Nisha I know you know Shakti <laughs> I like that what is this, Mina? Come on. Okay, it is Sargam, but now I'll do it without Sargam. Is it Mina? Come on. Say. This is Antra. Army, you know that. Antra. Antra always goes to high saw. I'm putting it in the um, chat. Oh, you said it, Army. You said it. She did say it. <laughs> I didn't see it in time. Army put it, Antara is the, the going and the landing and the and the the happening. Imagine it like it's a happening, right? <laughs> it really is a happening, but it's a happening at the high saw. So it has it's gotta be it's gotta be happening up there. You feel me? Is this Antara? No. No, because it didn't go to Sa. It went high, but it didn't go high enough. Like we did before. We're very close to Sa, almost there, half step from Ni. But there's a point in the Raga where we say, now I'm going to the mountaintop. Now, now.
And make sure you have enough breath to hold the saw there for a while, because that's that's another point of meditation. That's another point of deep connection. Because saw, remember, it's like when the universe began. Boom. Everything. That saw reflects that. Gamadani ni sa. I'm out of breath. I needed a bigger breath. Try. Madani se. Again, trying for that stillness, getting really into that sound. Then you can go higher. But that's not important. You can do Try that pare again. Pare Each day you sing, try to sing the notes longer, fuller, more beautiful. Singing is one of the most things that's most makes us most self-conscious, you know? So I think for a lot of us, maybe not you, Sunita. <laughs> You're a good singer. <laughs> maybe somebody can sing that. But most people find singing to be very naked very uh um transparent i do like it's you can't hide when you're singing so what i would like to do for next time is just have like two two or three people prepare something that they're gonna sing for everyone and it can be as small as like one or two phrases like that could be it I just want you to do that like all week and be like if you listen to singers you'll hear this it may take you three days to hear it but you'll hear it because it's part of the raga and sometimes you have to develop your listening capacity to start hearing these things and then it becomes like an old friend and you're like just talking to your old friend and you're hearing it we're responding back and forth it gets in you so I want like two or three of you to really just focus on one or two phrases to do next week in the class. Who wants to do that? Sunita, good. Yeah. Anyone else? Mike, okay, cool. What about you, Nelson or um, Amitra? Amaraja. Okay, here's here. Some of you I can't see, so you have to like do some kind of like chat, yo. Um. Okay, good. We have a third volunteer. Amitra, right? Okay. Cool. So, um. Anamitra, Sunita, who is the third person? Mike? So, but I want everyone who's in this class, who's hearing my voice right now, to practice as if you were the one who had to sing next week, okay? So, so everybody's doing this. Including you, Mina. Okay? 
Did everyone hear that? So you're actually doing it as if you're going to sing next week. Kabir, Sudama, Sebastian, Nelson, and Nelson's pop in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. Mata Nida Now I changed that before we did Parika. You can also do Marega. Marika. Okay, does anyone have any questions about this? And then I'm, I'm going to just finish with uh, an, uh, introducing something that's in the Google Drive and really important about rhythm. But open your mic if you have a question, please. Just open your mic, mic and say it. I have a question about that newest phrase. Is it ma, da, ma, da, ha? Is that what's going on? Ma, ni, da, ni, ma, da, ba. Those are the, those are like the gross notes. You know, if you were to say like, okay, these are the points of contact, right? And then, and then we're stitching it together with the mean, but it's mani tani matapa. Like that's how I would, I would think of it if I was literally, you know, but good question. So th then mani tani, so sometimes I'll think of it in pairs, Jess, like mani tani matapa, and then pa is a resolution by itself. And to break it down like that, then sometimes it's easier to do the means. It's not like this huge amorphous weird thing. Ma, da, ma, pa. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Good question. Anyone else? Ba. Okay. So in the Google in the Google Drive is something I want you to look at. Uh, there's a document I just put in there, which is called, uh, it's the Teen Talk Clock. So, and we're going to be using this, and I just want you to, I just want to explain it and have you recite these bowls. Now, some of you play tabla, and this is going to be like, like, you already know this, so you can just go have a beer now. But those of you who don't, this is like, this is for North Indian music. Sorry, the light's kind of whack. For North Indian music, this cycle of beats is like king. This is like all the time. And it's called Tintal. And in the second or third of the free videos that I have on YouTube, I really break this down. You can listen to me playing it on tabla. Oh, good. And and uh, you can um, follow along with the sarangi. Thank you. And you can follow along because the sarangi does the uh, the continuous melody that fits in the 16 beats. So <clears throat> I bet there's even one on YouTube. Let's see that that maybe we can. So it's called alera. I'm going to write this in the chat because alera is something. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. This is going to probably be in a different key. So I'm going to take off this tanpura. The lehra, lehra means, I'm going to write it. Lehra is a, is a, like in Western music, you might say astanara. It's just a melody going one, over and over again, the same melody. <clears throat> so this is a sarangi, I'll even just put this link in here. Two, three. Can you hear that? Can you hear that through the mic? So I'm just playing this YouTube video. This is a Lara. So it goes one. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Sorry, one, two. My counting is bad today. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Last clap is thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 16, 1. So, no matter what beat you're on, if you're listening to the melody, you know that's 9. You know this is 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow. 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ten. The reason I turned my hand over, that's the Kali. 13, 14, 15, 16, done. Five. Now, now we, if, you, if you can pull up that document, you can see what the bowls are. Or someone can write them in the chat. Mina, you know them. Put, put this down. Da, din, din, da, da, din, din. Ta, ta, din, din, na, na, din, din, ta, ta, din, din, char, punch, che, sat, at, no, das, gyara, bara, tera, choda, pandra, sola, ek. So that always coming back to the one this is a good one because it's nice and slow and you can practice listening to the melody and if you can play a beat along with this even if you don't play tabla it's be a really great exercise and then you can do our jatis in this so so let's let's actually stand up and do our movement with the letter now so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now say the teka. Da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, da, din, din, na, na, din. Din, ta, ta, din. Now we can start doing the subdivisions that we learned as we're walking and keeping tala. Here it comes, the one. We can start with the twos. Ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka. Two per beat. Ta, ka, ta, ka, ta. Now three per beat. Taki da 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 taki. We switch on one. Here it comes. Taka dimi 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 taka dimi. Mi ta ka di mi ta di ta 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 di ta ta ka ta ki 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 ta 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 ki ta ta ka ta ki ta 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 ki ta so you get used to this lera, and then you can do all the subdivisions. Now six. Here's the one. Dinna kataki the 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 dinna kataki dinna kataki the taka kataki the dinna kataki the dinna kataki the dinna kataki the dinna kataki the ta. So. We're, we're activating multiple parts of our brain now because we're stepping and our and, and we our brains evolved to move and then we're keeping tala so using both our hands and feet right 
and we're reciting the subdivisions. So then we're breaking down each of these 16 beats into different, another layer. Kali. Da, din, din, na, na, din, din, da. Now, when you see this, I want you to print this out if you can and color these last three beats because this is like a really cool way to hear the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine it's like a clock ticking at a tempo here one so the last three are din din ta so these have the low sound of the tabla in it so i'll show you that next week but um i want you just start listening to tabla takers i'm gonna put another Tabla, good tabla take a video you can listen to uh, right now there but tell me if you have any questions just unmute yourself anyone can you just choose like how many subdivisions you want in any given beat or is there are there rules yeah you can just choose awesome thanks yeah yeah, that's the that's basically you just you just go by your aesthetics, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's so much to the there's so much to to the. Oh, that's not a good one. Sorry. There's so many ways that. Um, we kind of create the rhythmic architectures uh, through the jatis, through these subdivisions. So there's, it's a big subject. And, uh, oh, this is the one I was looking for. But basically to answer your question, yeah, you, you, you choose based on your aesthetic choices, you know, how you want it. But, but there's also a way you can develop it. Like you usually don't start with all the faster ones and then, Go slow, you usually start slower and faster. And what I mean by that is the tempo isn't changing. Like, listen to this tabla track. Can you hear that? This is in D now. So it's actually, let me, let me see if there's a B one. That'll be better to sing with, my bad. <clears throat> um, here we go. Din, din, da, da, din, din, na, na. Oh, this will be helpful to practice with because it has the numbers going by. I'll put it in the chat. I'm, I literally just found this right now. So I've used different ones, but this one is 100 beats per minute. And look, I'll, I'll, I'll share it for those of you who don't want to click on this right now. Can you see that? You guys see that my screen? Ta din din ta da din din da da din din na na din din. So that's starting tempo is a little faster, right, Sunita? So this is 100 beats per minute. We were quite a bit slower before, but now I can still do the subdivisions. So, I just wanted to show you that really quick, but you can practice with this because this is a, a good kind of just basic tempo, and you can even sing the um, the phrases with this, and then. And then do the the rhythmic subdivisions. So I'm going to leave it at this today. Um, I'm going to stop that share. But I want to give you guys some of these just free tools that are available. And if you, has everyone seen those three videos on YouTube 
that with the sarangi and the tabla where I'm kind of breaking this stuff down? Has everyone seen those? Okay, so they're in that they're in that document. Um, and if you just search ragas and rhythms on YouTube and my name, you'll get them. There's there, it's a series of three videos and they're pretty in depth and it has a Yaman composition there too. And the music for that is actually in the same Google folder. So there's, you can really um, get this idea of Tintal and how it works uh, much better before our next lesson and uh, next class. And then we can, we can go deeper into it. Okay. So if, if, if some of this was like, like, whoa, a little over your head today, just go back and review those videos. All right. Any questions? Hey, Paul. Those are awesome. Hey, yeah, I Brian? Yeah. Yeah. So do these uh, rhythmic phrases, do they translate to uh, tabla bowls um, eventually? Like They are tabla talking? bowls. Are they tabla bowls just as yeah. they are? Ta, din, those, absolutely. Those are, those are tabla bowls. Now, okay. the ones, the ones, taka takita, those ones, those yeah. are not. Those are South Indian konakal bowls. I mean, uh -huh. I don't use the word bowls. That's a North Indian word. But those, are, that's konakal. So that's from the South Indian tradition. Like that's that's definitely Southern Carnatic classical system. Uh, but the ta didn't. That's why I said today what I gave you and what you guys should get in that sheet and print out and highlight the last ta didn't did the last 14, 15, 16, which comes after the clap. There's a reason for that. And, and I'm going to talk about that next week, but that's like the, the landing into the one. So, and it's a really good trick. It's like a teen tall hack to like really get the sense of where you're going with it, you know, and to be able to come to the one because a lot of people, 16 beats is like, whoa, that's a, that's a big number. I got to remember all those beats, you know, it's, and, and yeah, sure. It's true, but you don't have to count it if you feel it. And when you start feeling it, then you really get into the whole, the groove of it all, you know, and you're, and you're dancing, baby. Cool. Feel man. me? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so make sure you get the, 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 the document and then just, there's actually two team tall takas. The takas are the, the, the tabla bowls, like you were asking. And they're, they're, they're mm -hmm. written in the circular form, which I think is a really good, metaphor for feeling the music because it's cyclic music and they're written in the like beginning to end form down here so but this is the i like i like visualizing as a clock because it's this reflects the nature of the music okay cool. all right man thanks what about you kabir with your glang and purple crystals maybe he's not there Anyone else? Mina? I can't hear you, sister. What's up? Disconnected, muted oh, me. Tell me. Okay, I'm having difficulty doing the first one where seven beats, doubling the seven beats thing into, yeah. Oh, the one we did last time? Yeah, the, in the seven beat time. Yeah, yeah. So if you just do it with numbers first, Without mm. focusing on the notes, that might be easier. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 And so, then add the notes. Then add the notes. So, but if you don't, if you can't do the rhythm, trying to add the notes will just frustrate you. The rhythm is, comes first. I think, you know, it's like, it's like we move before we talk or something, you know? Hmm. Okay. So try that and, and remind me and I'll review it again next week. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Love you guys. I'm going to bounce. By the way, if you missed the concert last night, it's on, uh, it's on YouTube on my page that we had a, we had a live cast concert. Did anyone hear it? Okay, maybe I can post it or let's see. I can grab it really quick and post it here. It I was at the very end. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, 
Let's see, Dwight Fribble. We had this amazing uh, African American jazz singer, who's like a just, just like a. Here, here. I, I loved your T high endings last night. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. All right, I'm glad you're there. Uh, shit. You know what? I'll post it in the in the Raga Jazz page. Wait, I gotta have it here. Oh, I'm in the wrong account. That's why. I'm looking for it. Ugh. Oh, you know what? Let me see. It should be on the Soul Force Project website. Still. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's got some gro groovy intro music going on. Okay, here it is. Grab that link if you have time, watch it. This is a concert we just did on Sunday uh, with incredible singer. It's not it's not this kind of music at all. It's more like spiritual jazz and Indian uh, crossover. All right, you guys, I'm a bounce, but keep it. Remember, sing those phrases as if you're going to be singing in front of everyone next week, because you will eventually, OK? Peace and love. Thanks. See ya. Revolutionary love. Always. Amen. Namaste. 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 Peace. Thanks, Paul. Yeah.